PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. How are we all going? Beautiful day on my side of the world. It's a bit bloody cold here actually. Looking out of my shed here, there's a lot of snow up on the hills and I might break out the skis and see if I can break my leg later or something like that, eh? <laughs> anyway, what's the old get going on today? Well, I'm talking about a couple of simple hacks that might help you out if your plasma torch or your plasma cutter's not blowing air. And he's saying, what the hell are you talking about, Pete? What do you mean, not blowing air? I mean, when you pull the trigger, it doesn't do that. I had a few emails from you guys saying that you can't get the air out of the nozzle of your plasma cutter. Anyway, guys, a couple of tips and tricks for you. Let's get into it, eh? Oh, before I go and do start the video, remember to subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below if you want. And let's get into it, eh? Yeah! So the first thing we need to do, guys, before we go pulling our bloody plasma cutter to bits, just check whatever compressor you're using. Make sure that the air is actually turned on. Make sure that you've got your regulator set to whatever it's supposed to be. And just make sure the thing's running. So just attach the end from your plasma cutter. Plug an air gun into it and just make sure we've got air coming out of the end of this hose first. And that'll help us. At least that way we know where to start. Yep, we've got air coming out of the hose. Beautiful. Right, so we know it's not the compressor. So now let's move on to the plasma cutter machine itself. Right, guys, we've got a couple of possibilities with this. Turn the machine on and we don't get any air. You just hear it going buzz, 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 buzz. Can you hear that? That's basically telling us that it's trying to create an arc, but it just doesn't have any air to start the plasma up with. So what we already know is our compressor is getting air to the back of the machine here because we tested it with the air gun, remember? So what we need to do now is just undo the air line here. And did you also know, guys, this is not only an air line, it has a great big heavy wire runs all the way through this. And this is also the main power lead for your plasma torch. So here we have the, uh, the air coming out of here. Well, it's supposed to come out of here when we pull the trigger. So let's see if it actually does or not. That's not doing a lot, is it? Now, because we pulled the trigger and no air come out of here, it didn't blow that paper away, and we've got air in the back, that means that there must be something wrong with the air switch inside this machine. So let's pull the machine to bits and have a look. Now these air switches in here, guys, are much the same as what's in your MIG welder to turn the gas on and off. It's just, electrical, it's just a little electrical switch, about 35 volt normally. But this may be a higher voltage one. Let's have a look. What do we got in here? <laughs> turn it off first, Pete, before you electrocute yourself. But remember that, guys. Turn it off. Actually, unplug it from the wall before you do anything. I'm just an idiot. Of course, I took the wrong side off, didn't I, guys? So we have to turn them around and do the other side. Jeez, Louise. Now, these generic machines are all basically the same, guys. Just a different brand name on them. Right guys, if you have a look here, I've actually got the right side off the bloody thing there, and I'll show you what I mean. Now I've got this unplugged as well, I don't suggest you do this guys, I'm just showing you what's inside this thing. So if we have a look here, this is the business end of it, this is where your torch plugs in here. Then we come down here, and this here is where the air comes in. All the way down here, you can see it's orange, goes under the circuit board here, and then it's orange here as well, can you see that guys? Let me zoom in on that and we'll see if we can get that a little bit better. See that guys, we ran all the way down on that orange line right down to here. If you can see that. Now if you can see this thing here guys, this is the little valve that turns the air on and off from the compressor when you pull the trigger. So it's either the little valve here that's buggered or the wires that come from here that run that little switch. They go all the way over here to the circuit board. And you've got to make sure that they're clipped into the circuitry all right because they're on a little clip and sometimes the clips vibrate out. As you can see, the wire goes around here, from up there, across there, across here, and down here into the circuit board here. And it's got a little clip on it. Uh, you don't even see the clip. It's like this clip here. 
but it's just down in the circuitry here. So if we have a look at that, see if that's plugged in properly. If it's not plugged in properly, we'll just shove it in and see if it works. Make sure that you follow the wires around, guys, and muck about with the right one. See, this is, looks quite loose. Can you see that? See, this looks quite loose, guys. So if I just poke it down with a screwdriver, it went down a little bit. Do you hear it click? Let's try that. I don't recommend you do this, guys. I'm not an electrician. I'm just showing you what's inside it. Because yours might blow up. Who the hell would know? But I'm just showing you what I do. Right. Plug it in, and we'll turn it on, see what happens now. So, guys, whoa, Pete, you took the screws out. <laughs> anyway, we'll turn it around, guys. And don't pull the top off like I did. <laughs> right, we'll turn them around like that. And what I'll do is we'll plug the torch back into it. So we'll just plug the torch back into it. Switch. Actually, I'll just leave the switch in and we'll do the same paper test again on this, eh? Turn them on. Didn't blow up, guys. It's got to be a bonus. Grab our paper. So we've got our paper here. Remember the guy this should blow out. Woohoo! So that's working guys. So all that was was just a loose wire. And like I say, sometimes that happens because I drag all my shit around the workshop and it just gets knocked around and sometimes you just clip it off. But I've also had it, guys, sometimes that the actual wire is broken in the torch. I'll show you how to find that out in a minute. So let's reassemble it, guys, before I bloody electrocute myself. I'll be zapping myself today, guys. Right, there, guys, let's see if it still works, eh? Yep. So, so I was lucky that time, guys, because it was just a little plug that clips into the circuit board. It just got loose and just come up a little bit. But sometimes you might find that it's the actual switch itself, and you can just go and buy one on Amazon or whatever you want and just replace it. But make sure you know what you're doing. Like I say, I don't recommend you doing it. It's just, you know, it gives you an idea of where to start to look if you've got problems. Like I said here before, guys, sometimes it's even the bloody switch in these things. This switch works all right. But sometimes it's the switch. It's between the switch and the actual machine itself. So if, you've... so if you've got a low voltage switch circuit like this, which most of them are, I just do this just to check out, see if it's the switch or not. So just take the uh, switch plug out, grab a screwdriver, stick the screwdriver in the two prongs and make a circuit. There you go. See that guys, as easy as that, just, just trick the machine into thinking that the switch is the screwdriver basically. So if you've got air coming out of the machine and it's just not triggering on the switch, like so, then you've got a break in the wire somewhere between where it plugs in and your torch handle here. Piece of weasels! Yeah! So guys, that was my useless information for the week. So remember, if your plasma cutter torch or your plasma cutter's not blowing air, that might just help you out. Like I say, it's either the little switch in the back of the machine or it's the wire between the front of the machine and the switch on your torch. Anyway guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. Always remember, if you like my videos, you can give me a tip. Just use the thank you button below. And we'll see you next time for some more bullshit, eh? See ya. Bye. Holy moly, guys, I almost forgot to tell you. 
If you're trying to bend steel and you haven't got a gas torch and you want to use your plasma cutter, check out this video up here. I might have some tips and tricks for you on how to be able to bend steel without actually cutting through it so you can just bend it with a crescent or whatever to a different shape using your plasma cutter. Anyway guys, bye. Pete's tools. 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 Tools.